Scorpio, welcome to your weekly grind. All right, let's see. Ooh, kindred partnership. All right, singles, this is the moment that you have been waiting for. Your ideal person is finally going to be wrapped up in a silver gift wrap. It will be delivered to your doorstep by the universe. Or it will be delivered by the store. All right. Some of you, you've been, you know, you're very successful. You, you know, you people, you know, a lot of people do envy you, look up to you. You know, people, you, you could also be in the public eye and you feel like you're already in the right path to your career. Um, a lot of people know you, okay? Probably you're a, like a popular vlogger or it could be, I don't know, whatever it is, you know, it could be you're in the public eye and it could be you're also an entertainer or something like that. You've been going back and forth, back and forth for this energy that you're having it all. You know, like a lot of people want to be with you. But the thing here is, you know that there is something or someone that you only long for. And you feel like, that's the only person that can make me happy. Alright? There was, it could be a situation, a person, or a, I don't know, maybe a partner. Okay? Or it could be... Uh, like a person of your choice that you really wanted to be with and every time that you're with this person everything increases and you're stuck with this person so let's take a look all right you feel like this is the only thing that's missing in your life and when this person finally comes into your life then there's nothing that you could ever ask for you feel like that's it universe you know like that's it for me I won't be asking for anything anymore. It's come to think of it. You have a successful career. Probably you have your own car and house. You don't have any debts or loans that you have to pay because, you know, it's like you're also good in juggling and managing your finances. Ooh. Here it goes, the Ten of Swords. All right. Um, okay. You're stuck in this particular past. That somebody actually betrayed you, let you down. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Alright. And you feel like... <sighs> yeah. It's like you've been stuck, you know, in this past for so long some of you it's been seven years i don't feel like it's been seven months but probably to some of you okay um and some of you never wanted to be you know never wanted to be entangled in a commitment or get married or something like that but there's one person that is your real wish fulfillment okay you feel like if i can have this person then I'm good. All right. Some of you, uh, this person could be could have a cancer. They tried, not necessarily have to be their sun sign. Okay. Um, it, they could be Cancer, Gemini. There's also Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. Some of you, there's like a physical distance. Some of you. You've been thinking about one another. You're trying to draw the courage to probably reach out to this person. Now you're gonna find out. Sorry, I guess I I have a I have colds again. So Okay, you will be feeling probably even dreaming about this person. You know, continuously, and you feel like, why is it that this person is always on my mind? You know, like, 
What do they want? It's like the two of you are also connecting telepha uh, telepathically, but you don't talk about this to anyone. You're just keeping this to yourself. Now, the more you bottle up these emotions or whatever this is, this energy that's been going on inside of you, the more it's going to be driving you crazy. It's like, you know, let's say, for example, that you're signing up some documents or you're working, typing, facing the computer. It's like here you don't even notice that you're starting to drift into like an alternative universe or like an alternative dimension that you feel like you are with a person. Like, you know, like it's it looks like a normal day that the two of you are actually talking and joking. And it's like, you know, in your mind, the two of you are like really fun and getting along. But in reality, in 3D, both of you actually hate each other, but you both love one another. You're thinking about each other. Look at this. You're thinking about each other. I don't really feel like the two of you are like really done done, just like what, ha just like how you're claiming. Okay. I don't feel like the two of you are really done done with each other. But there will be a big transformation and transition, and this is what both of you are so afraid. One of you could also be in a relationship, or could be both of you. But usually, in this kind of situation, the other one is free, the other one is not. All right. There is like a. I don't feel like the two of you. I'm picking up 31, 35. Some of you could be 40, 41, 44, 45, 46, something like that. It's less than 50. All right. And the other one loves to climb up. Yeah, the other one actually wants to, I mean, they're more of a mountainous person. They love climbing up mountains or could be going up uh, to the highlands. Okay, and then the other one loves to be in the water. I mean, you usually love being in the water, Scorpio. Okay. Or probably that you have a lot of Scorpio in your chart if you're um, Scorpio Moon. All right. So... I'm also seeing here a little bit of a difference when it comes to, I don't know, something about money, money difference, social status. I'm picking up that one of you could also be an elite. The other one is like a, like a normal person with a normal or average life. Okay, if you're the one who's actually an elite, the person that you're dealing with, I don't feel like that they're kind of intimidated with you, but they don't want to have any drama because they already know how it is to be with the kind of people that you are. Probably your family, dealing with the status, public appearance, like you have to hide, you know, like you have to avoid the scandal, you have to avoid the people to judge you or say something about you that probably is Scorpio so conscious about what other people are going to say so this person is like you know what I already know how it's going to go so I might as well just control the damage you know so somebody here walked away I don't know maybe they walked away early they walked away you know like just as about Two of you, or you know, just as about uh, for the two of you to start a relationship or to start something new. This person walked away, not for the reason that you're thinking, because some of you think that there is another person or like a third party. It's not. This person made a stand for their principle and whatever they believe in. That they feel like they would rather, you know, they would rather. Um, not work it out or let you be some of you are being controlled by your own mother all right it's like probably that you are
Yeah, this person feels like they're, you know. This person feels like um, it's much better for them to control the damage and not really dwell on the drama. Your family is very conscious of, I don't know, they want somebody that has a, I don't know, maybe someone of a status or somebody that could, that could also be in your range or level or whatever it is. They want somebody that is balanced, not somebody that will be clinging on or piggybacking on you. Which is, you know, this is the problem with this kind of people, all right? They always assume or they always have this stereotypical thinking that people that is not within their range will always be after whatever they have to piggyback on whatever they could provide. But that's not always the case, you know? Especially that this person is very proud. But the two of you are still going to be getting back together. I'm not sure who is going to be traveling to who, but one of you is traveling. You're going to find out that this person is actually right under your nose. Alright. You're going to find out that this person is actually just right under your nose and that's the time that you don't quite know what to do. So let's take a look at the extended. How far will this hide and sick? Will last long. You've been watching them, they've been watching you. Both of you are very quiet, very undeniable of your feelings. Probably some of you are also asking, getting information about each other in a very sleek and uh, what do you call this? Sleek and uh, secretive way. Okay? So let's take a look at the extended. I will be doing all the extended in my Patreon links down there below right after the Pisces sign. So I want to finish up all the signs first so that I won't get stuck. And then I'll be doing them in Patreon, all right? Anyway, if you want to talk to me live on the phone, live on the calls, just go visit me at my website, sfeclairvoy.com. Blessings to you.